God, today we want to thank you and pray a blessing over some people that are very special to us. Charlie, Caleb, Lauren, Lindsay, Lena, Sammy, and Seth. God, you gave these kids to their parents, but you also gave them to us, their church family, and we are so very humbled and grateful. It's been so much fun to get to spend time with all of our seniors over the years. We were privileged to pray with some of their parents, asking for these sweet babies to arrive in this world healthy and that you would be with them all of their days. We watch some of them toddle around and learn how to point their little fingers upwards and say your holy name. We've been witness to their preschool and early elementary years when they were just starting to learn stories that fueled their imaginations, filled them with wonder, and helped them to begin to understand just how amazing you are and how much you love them. And as they progressed in elementary school, we got to see most of them go to camp for the first time, where they learned to be away from their family for a whole week be responsible for their own belongings and hygiene, to, and to appreciate your natural creation, even the June bugs. They formed deep bonds with those that they would journey through their childhood with, and they began to understand what it truly means to be a Christ follower. God, we've seen these kids mature into middle schoolers, where they had to put into practice the lessons they learned about treating others in a way that honors you and valuing themselves because you value them. During these years, you grew their faith and friendships and opened their eyes to a world beyond themselves through serving others, both within the walls of our building and out of the community. God, as these kids moved into high school, they became true servant leaders in your church. They led younger children at camps and in the youth group. They sang on the praise team. They set godly examples for their friends and coworkers. They've traveled to foreign lands to learn and to show your love to others. And they've just served in so many other ways. God, more so than the graduating classes in many years, this group of seniors has faced confusion, disappointment, fear, and uncertainty about their future plans. God, we know that you have grown and matured them for such a time as this. We ask that you will help them to feel your presence and love in abundance. God, we are so proud of these kids. No, we are so proud of these young adults. We humbly ask that we may remain in their lives to watch them as they continue to mature and grow in so many ways, but especially in their love and their faith in you. God, thank you for sharing with us the prayer of the worried father in the gospel of Mark, uh, who said to Jesus, Lord, I believe, help my unbelief. God, we're all weak. We're all finite. Our understanding will always be limited, but you are not limited. and We can choose to trust you even when we doubt. God, you know this is a group of seniors with curious minds and a willingness to ask hard questions. As they go from here and throughout their lives, help them to keep asking. Help them always to seek truth, knowing that all truth is your truth. And God, give them wisdom and courage to live, to act as believers, especially when faced with doubts and questions and disappointment that will come. Help them trust you in every part of their lives. Help them to find hope in your promises. Help them to know your love and share it with everyone they meet. Hey seniors, my prayer for you in the sense of community as you enter this next stage of life is that you'll have healthy relationships both on a personal level, on a church level, and with your family. I pray that you are able to find a church family that nourishes your spiritual life and that you're able to have a healthy relationship with God and to ask good questions about what it means to be in a healthy relationship with God. And I pray that from that, you're able to find healthy personal relationships and able to nourish healthy personal relationships. God, we thank you for your heart for these seniors. God, we thank you for the way that you have created them, for the people that they are, God, the, the desires that you have put in them, the passions that they have been made to live into. God, we know that you, um, you sent your son to be in this world and to, um, to show us how to be on mission, to show us how to love others, to show us how to live simply, God, to show us how to be for other people, God. And that is my prayer for these seniors, God, that the spirit that is within them, your spirit, um, infuses them with a grace and a peace and a truth and an understanding to walk in this world, to love others, to love you, to follow you where you lead them. God, I just thank you that you have created us to be people on mission. And I specifically pray that over these seniors right now, these seniors that are entering a new world and a new season. God, I pray that you keep them close. 
You keep them tethered to you. God, and open their eyes. Give them vision and direction and discernment as they live into the Great Commission, as they live into being people that go and make disciples, that live a life of love so that they may live a life of love with you, God, but also bring others into that. God, we just pray blessings over them. We pray that you keep them close, that they are always near to your heart, God, and that it is you that guides and directs their steps. In Jesus' name, amen.